In today's video on how to build your food truck with me, Frank Baltiers, we're gonna be converting our two cooking equipments that we have in our food truck, being a griddle and being a burner from natural gas, which is how they get shipped, to LP, which is propane gas that you use in your food truck. You cannot run it like this, you gotta run it like this. So you gotta convert them, and I'm gonna show you step by step how you do that. So let's get started right now. Okay, so I did decide to swap out these propane lines right here. This has a, what they call an inverted flare tip on here on the end of this gas propane pigtail, they call it, ah, there it is. If you can see that piece right there is inverted. There's two different types. This one makes it fit into that fitting of the propane, the changeover, and these big old things, I got them replaced for uh, I think these are two footers or 18 inch ones. One of the two, I gotta look at the receipt. But I'm gonna swap these out because I do not like how that looks. And if I don't like how it looks, then I'm assuming the person that buys this trailer is not gonna like it either. And I want them to be happy with the product. So we're gonna swap these out for these. And we just took our channel locks and just removed it. As you can see, I order a lot of stuff on Amazon. And then we're gonna use the Blue Monster pipe sealant thread. Kind of just place it into that hole right there and then you spin it around as such just like that and then it's gonna get a little tight and then we take our channel locks right here and we give it a final spinneroonie right there like that there it is and that should look a lot better than how it did before let's connect it like this right into the 230 pound propane tanks and there it is right there and we can twist that around look at that that looks a heck of a lot better than that one right there so just wanted to share that make sure that we're on the same page right here okay so on here what we did is we ran our yellow propane hose that we made ourselves we have it right here that's going to go to our main um, gas distribution point and i ran it across through the back back of the three compartment sink back of the water pipes and it's going to come right over here it's going to feed the propane water heater so that's what this line is specifically for this right here the output or the input of the water heater is three quarter so we no sorry it's half inch so we have to do this we have to take this piece right here, which is a three quarter to half inch coupling reducer. Or in this case, I guess we're incre we're, we are reducing from three quarter, which is what this one is, a yellow hose. And it's gonna go to half inch, which is this one right there. And that's how we're gonna connect them so we can put both of them on the line there. And we're gonna use, like always, on everything that we use with gas, the Blue Monster pipe thread sealants. So there you go, that is what we're doing right now. If you guys can see there, all I did was take that, that blue monster, put it around the threads, and I'm just gonna spin this into place. And then we're gonna tighten it in. And then we're gonna put the three quarter inch on the other side, so that's how we do that part. Okay, so on here, one thing that you have to do because this burner, the one that I showed you just a little bit earlier, uh, they're rated where they come usually installed for natural gas, which would be like a brick and mortar is what uh, your gas company brings in. And they have these orifices. That's what they call it on the instruction manual. It's called an orifice. And then these burner plates right here come right off pretty easily. It, well, on the Volrath style that I have. I don't know which one you would have particularly, but they should be pretty easy to take out. So what we have to do here to convert this part of the process is to take out these orifices. As you can see, they have like a little hole there. And we have to swap them out for the ones that come on uh, the new equipment. They have, a, they call it an LP conversion kit. It comes usually with the equipment. And if it doesn't, ask the manufacturer to make sure they send it one. It should say like on the details. That's what this one said. It said LP conversion kit included. So we have to swap these for those because you don't want to let as much gas 
out so if you can see the diameter of that one is a heck of a lot bigger than this one so we have to remove those two and install these two right here so you just take your i think it said on here a 13 millimeter wrench that's what this particular model says okay it's a volrath read the instructions and it should instruct you what to do so we just have to lefty loosey this one and as well as that one and then swap them out for the other ones that is the process part of the process of converting from natural gas to lp as they call it so liquid propane so let's do that really quick okay so i have to test it out before i showed you on video because i don't want to be uh, like a dummy there that showed you something that doesn't work uh this one is a 13 millimeter socket it's a 13 millimeter socket and then what we're gonna take and it fits perfectly is just like so and then we're just gonna flip it around as such it's kind of hard to do with one hand so that's kind of the concept if you don't feel comfortable doing it with the ratchet and a socket you could do it with the wrench 13 millimeter wrench but let's take these two off right now it did come off with that socket you just gotta be you just gotta kind of be snug with it you don't want to break this and twist it off too hard but that's how you do it and uh, it's literally that's what I did I just took it from what you just saw just a couple seconds ago to taking it off you just gotta put a little bit of pressure onto it that way you can hold it. it's kind of hard to do it with one hand that's why I stopped the video but uh, see i can't do it so i can't do it but that's how you do it you just hold it with two hands and then you're able to uh loosen them up and then you put the other ones on make sure that you put some of that uh the, the sealant on there the monster either the monster blue or uh the gas tape that way you have a good seal on that again there we go piece of cake as they call it we put the new one right in it has the number of I don't have no idea what it means, but it's a beautiful little number. Yeah, 55 is the numbering that's on these new orifices. We put this one in there. We put the Monster Blue uh, pipe thread seal tape right on there. We're going to do the same thing to this other side right there. And then this will be part of the LP conversion, as they call it. That way we can connect it to our liquid propane 30-pound tanks so it can turn on these two... Um, uh, which I've got two burners right here, which are going to be just the two burners on a 12 inch Volrath burner. So, there you go. That is the process of how to take out these little orifices. This one was actually pretty easy. Uh, let's see when that big monster of the griddle comes in on Monday if I'm going to have any issues with that. But this is the burner and how you do that. This right here is the front facing part of the new griddle. 48 inch griddle made by Volrath right there this thing is heavy 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 little sucker right here about 480 pounds right around there so let's get it unwrapped let's convert it to LP and then let's throw it up inside the truck Woo! we got it in perfect at least the table can hold up 400 and some pounds i think these are rated for 500 pounds i did find this really 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 cool they call it a flange feet it's kind of what i use for my tables right there if you guys can see but i didn't know i saw this actually on uh on a food truck group post somebody put these and then i was like let me try them i found them at lowe's and i'm gonna use it because this is actually really 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 good idea on how to secure this um, equipment on here I actually really like it I might do it to my own food truck because right now I have it secured from the bottom up but this makes me feel a heck of a lot better but there it is I took the face plate off because we're gonna have to swap out right in here inside here they have the orifices that you have to change out for natural gas to LP but just wanted to show you the update we got it in an extra hand and uh, this is what we're going to use to secure it to the tables all right so now that i have the griddle inside that's how it looks right over there we put a 90 degree let me get on that side there's a 90 degree elbow right here and then i attached the the i guess you can call the 
Ah, what do you make all it? The male fitting, I attached it to right here. That way we hook up the hose and then it'll come straight down. I might give it a little bit of play and have it just kind of like go back that way. This is still gonna come more this way as much as I can towards the wall, but that's the 90 degree elbow that I put on there that's gonna be uh, for the griddle itself to provide the propane that it needs that's gonna come in from right there. All right, we have some success here. I was able to free up this orifice right here. This is how it shows up from the factory. One, two, three, four, four burners on a 48 inch griddle. And I was able to remove it right here. And instead of just showing you that it's removed, I'm gonna show you how I did it on the next one right there. I didn't show you on this one because I had no idea how to do it. Just being very, very direct. Uh, but now I figured it out. It's not as bad as I thought. Um, so man, I even love Volrath even more. Woo, man, I'm gonna keep buying this company. If anybody knows any of the reps out there that do like an affiliate, man, please send them my way. Cause I cannot find any except Amazon. But uh, that's how I removed it. That's We're gonna remove this orifice now and then swap it out for one of these. And I'll show you how I re removed it here shortly. Alrighty, so I put this one back. This is the first one. You just gotta twist this one around a little bit so I can put that screw right back in there. This screw just kind of holds that, uh, I would assume it's a protector. I'm gonna go this way. Uh, like that. That's how they want it. That's how the other ones look. I'll just make it a duplicate. Okay, so what I did here is I have these flex. I had to go buy these. I had a regular one and it didn't work as well. This one right here, I had a regular eight millimeter combo wrench, the ratcheting ratcheting style, but I went to go buy this one that has like a flex, a flex head because it's hard to fit into this little edge over here. So underneath you have your U burners right here and the instructions are not very helpful. So you have to kind of imagine it. So you have this little nut eight millimeter right there. And then back here, let me watch you guys. Back here in the back, holding the burner as well, is another eight millimeter nut. And you need that wrench to loosen both of these up. So you loosen this one up. This is the back of the griddle. You loosen this one up. You loosen this one right here that holds the pilot. You guys can see that's the pilot um, button or whatever, because this is where you put in your, um, like your lighter right through this hole right here. You put in your lighter right through that hole and that's how you light it up. And these are the knobs to turn on the propane and whatnot. Um, but those are the two that you take off. So let's take them off right now. Just so you guys can see, I'm not doing anything magical here. Just taking out two little nuts that I loosened up with the ratchet set with the wrench. And now we're gonna go to the back. The back one, as I had said, is a little funky back here. You kind of have to uh, find your way. And then once you do it, you just, that's why you want the ratcheting style. Cause then you get like a quick little turn radius. And then you loosen that one up as well. And you guys can see that burner up top, that U burner is getting loose. So there it gets loose. You just kind of lift it up a little bit. It sits on a bolt right there. And then right here on the pilot, ah, where's it at? Okay, on the pilot right there as well. It sits like on a little screw and then you kind of just slide it back, slide it back and then we come up here and then now you're able to see the, the little orifice. This is a natural gas orifice that comes factory installed so we have to remove it and you take your 13 millimeter right here. The same thing as a 13 millimeter and you do the same. You adjust it and then you take it off. You guys can see I'm loosening it. I'm trying to do two things at the same time here. But that's how you just loosen it as such like that. And I think I'm loosening it, hopefully. I gotta get off the phone. But all right, so you loosen it, you take that off, and then I'm gonna show you the next step. Okay, I wasn't loosening it. So uh, I had to just get refocus one more time. So you take that off like that. 
and i was trying to use this tape right here this blue monster thread tape but to be honest i i, I just don't like it that's just a personal thing um, so i keep using my pipe thread sealant you want to put just a thin layer right there at the edge and then you're going to put the new uh, orifice on there just so you see the difference in what i'm talking about these are the old ones right here these two on the left and then the new one on the right you see the opening is a lot smaller than the two on the left that's what comes factory installed and now we're just going to twist this on right here at the top and that should do it right there Alrighty, and there's a final product right there. That's how it's gonna look before we put that we put this right back in. So it's gonna end up looking just like the first one that we started with. That's how this one's gonna look. You just kind of reposition the screws right back into place on the front part and on the back part. And that's how you convert to a LP conversion, as they call it, from natural gas to LP.